Hey there, welcome to today's video. My name is Alex Litvinchak and I'm the CEO of Dealer Pro Academy. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Google My Business for car dealerships. So if you're a car dealership owner or you're a general manager or marketing director at the dealership, this is the video for you because in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you everything you need to know from A to Z about Google My Business. In today's video, I'll show you how you can properly optimize your Google My Business listings for a better search local, for better local search visibility, uh, for uh, getting higher rankings on Google so more people can see uh, your business and how you can drive more traffic to your website utilizing free tools that Google My Business recently released. So all of this is gonna be packed in today's video. It's gonna be step-by-step -step everything what you possibly need to know how to properly optimize your Google My Business listings. In fact, I did a little bit of research and I found that people are charging up to $500 uh, doing workshops and teaching the information that I'm gonna be sharing with you today for free. So pay close attention, take, you know, take some notes because everything I'm gonna share with you is pretty much from you know, start to, to the, uh, from beginning to the end, everything, uh, all the strategies that it took me years uh, to, to learn myself and uh, do it for other dealerships. So you can you know, save your time and I packed everything in today's video. Uh, before we dive into, uh, into this video, make sure to click the subscribe button because I released videos just like, uh, like this one in, uh, for uh, specifically for automotive space, for uh, car dealership owners, exactly how you can grow your online presence utilizing you know, Google techniques, Google ads, organic traffic, Facebook advertising, everything on this channel. So click the subscribe button you know, and click the bell. So you're gonna get notified when I'm releasing a new video. So what are we gonna cover in today's video? First is the role of Google My Business for auto dealers. Second is how to claim or create a new Google My Business listing. In fact, I would even recommend you to open a new tab in your browser so you're gonna walk, um, so you're gonna do exactly what I'm showing and I'll walk you through how to optimize your uh, listings. Also, I'm gonna walk you through seven steps uh, how, what is the best ways to optimize your existing Google My Business listing for lead generation. I'll show you the best ways how you can uh, how you can adjust your listings so you can get leads directly to your uh, from your website once you optimize your Google My Business. And this one is really uh, this one is really spicy. <laughs> this is like a new feature that Google uh, recently released, and I'll show you and walk you step by step how you can add your vehicle inventory directly to Google My Business so you can increase your um, search visibility. Also, your dealership will rank higher on Google if someone will type uh, car dealerships near me in, in local area. Uh, your dealership will rank higher because you're the smart business owner, you will have this feature and I'll show you how you can add your inventory to Google so more people will see your inventory directly in Google and then they can take action and then you can convert them into the lead so you can uh, sell more cars and grow your uh, uh, dealership. So the strategies I'm gonna be teaching you is the, exactly the same results you can get once you set it up properly. In this example, we have 500 views organically for free of this specific vehicle um, uh, for that dealership. And also, if you do it properly, you will see the long-term benefits of optimizing Google My Business for your dealership. And what we see on average is uh, you you will see within a year or two years down the road, 80% uh, of increase in visibility on Google Maps. Meaning if the person is typing in, uh, you know, the uh, dealerships near me on Google Maps, you will rank higher and you will pop up first before anybody else. Once you, uh, once you set up everything properly, like I will show you in today's video. Also, uh, we see 28% average increase in uh, website visits and uh, more people requesting directions for specific dealership and more clicks to call, uh, you know, call to action clicks. So first thing first, 
To optimize your Google My Business, you need to create or claim your listings. I see so many business owners making this mistake. They did not claim uh, their listing yet, and it doesn't allow them to you know, fully take advantage of the Google My Business. They're not ranking properly, not, nobody can find them, and they're missing out on a lot of local shoppers who are actually in market for, uh, for the vehicle. So the first step first, first thing first, I highly encourage you to make sure you set up your uh, Google My Business properly. And if you are, you know, if you just starting out, uh, you, you just, you know, opening your dealership, this is the number, the first thing you need to do. You need to create Google My Business. And to do that, just go to uh, Google My Business. Uh, type it in Google, Google My Business, and create an account. You can use your existing uh, existing Gmail account that you can associate with your Google My Business. But if you already have a Google uh, Google My Business set up, you need to claim it, right? You need to uh, make sure that right here you have uh, you know you have your website, you have all the information properly properly set up, and um, you can manage it. And if you can manage your listings meaning that you claimed your uh, Google listing. So this is the step first, uh, step number one. Now, step number two, you want to make sure there there is no duplicates. So if you're gonna go and click on the left si uh, side menu um, in Google My Business, you will see uh, the tab, it says Manage Locations. So there should be just one location, sometimes uh, just like in this example, you might have your dealership, you know, um, showing up twice. This is really bad because this is going to mess up your rankings and Google will not uh, rank you properly and show your listings properly on, on Google search results. So you want to make sure that there's, there's only one dealership. That this is the only one dealership that uh, is in Manage Locations tab. So if you have something like that, you need to click on that and uh, delete one of those locations. So this is step number two. If you, if, you, if you don't have any duplicates, you're good to go. Let's move on to the step number three of Google My Business Optimization. This is very, very important. So you want to have primary and additional categories. So your primary category is going to be a car dealer or used car dealer, depending on what type of dealership you own. And then I highly suggest you to add uh, a few other categories. Add, you know, truck dealer, used car dealer, or just car dealer. So uh, as more categories you add as additional categories uh, that are related to your uh, to your business, as better because then if someone will type, you know, trucks near me, or if someone will type in Google, you know, used car dealer or uh, buy here, pay here dealer, then you most likely gonna rank higher, comparing or versus someone who has just one category, just one primary category. So by by uh, adding a few extra additional categories, you're allowing Google and showing them that these search results, these search terms are also related to your business. So this is step number three: add a primary uh, primary category. And right here in a second, I'll take you inside the Google uh, My Business and I'll show you where to find it. But first I want to give you understanding of how it looks uh, here on the slides. Now step number four, um, use all websites links. So uh, you need to make sure that you have your website uh, added on, your, uh, on Google My Business. If you still don't have your website, make sure to add your website, like here an example. And I see a lot of people are making this mistake they uh, are not utilizing these extra fields for websites. So there, are, uh, these fields are appointment links and menu link. So you might think, why would you add a menu link if you are a dealership? You don't, you are not a restaurant, right? You don't have, you don't sell burgers. But uh, not a lot of people know if you add uh, the your you know your website link under menu link and appointment links then uh, as a menu link, it's gonna assess as a pro uh, as in products and services instead of menu link. Because 
uh, Google will see like, oh, okay, this is not really a restaurant, so they will change the, the, the term to products and services. So this is very important. Uh, and here's what I suggest you to do. Under appointments links, if you have on your website a calendar or something where people can schedule an appointment uh, with you, uh, use that link under appointment links. Or if you don't have anything, here I would suggest you to input a, um, a contact, app, uh, contact us page from your website. So it's gonna be something like your dealership.com slash contact us. And then under menu link, I highly recommend you to input your inventory page. So it's gonna be easier for prospects who, uh, who found you on Google uh, to, uh, to click and take them directly to your inventory, to the vehicles you have uh, available at the moment. And last but not least is you need to um, set up your shortcut. So right here it says, uh, there's a shortcut, it's actually also a brand new feature. This will allow you to, uh, to create a shortcut for a dealership and it will give you a link that you could share uh, with your uh, clients to, to leave a review or if someone looks like an easy way to find you on Google, you could just send them that, this link as well as you can this, use this link on your Facebook page uh, profile in about us section. So uh, by having this link, it's gonna be so much easier for them to find you on Google if they need to, you know, to look, uh, look up your uh, hours of operation or if they want simply leave a review. So this is like a ninja tip. Make sure to utilize the shortcut. It will give you a link so you can use it. Now, step number five, whenever you are utilizing these links on, um, on your Google My Business listings, make sure you use UTM codes, urgent tracking module that will allow you to track where the traffic comes from uh, within your Google Analytics. So on this example, uh, here is on the right uh, picture, you see campaign URL builder. This is where you can create, uh, create a links that will be trackable within Google Analytics. I know it might sound confusing, uh, but right now in a second, I'll walk you through and show you how we're gonna use this all together to get a proper distribution and, uh, sorry, attribution of, uh, of your traffic within uh, Google Analytics. So then it's gonna be for you much easier to see, oh, okay, uh, this person, uh, you know, this per uh, these people came from Google My Business organic traffic, this came from uh, paid advertising on Facebook or Google Ads. So uh, this is step number five. You want to always use campaign URL builder to track, uh, to, to, be, to track your traffic. Now, step number six, which is here step number five, uh, create a separate listing for service and parts. For example, if you a franchise dealer or if even if you're a bigger um, dealership, uh, uh, independent dealership, and you have a separate location, separate address uh, for, um, for your service, uh, for a service center, then you want to create another Google My Business listing for that because it will allow you to um, to create like omnipresence and if someone searches you take more space up on google and uh, overall it's gonna help you um organically rank better on google and you're gonna rank higher comparing to other uh dealerships but if your uh if your dealership has the service center in the same building as uh, as your um as the, the place where you operate, right? Where you sell cars in your office, then you don't need to create a, a separate listing for service and parts. This is only for those who have, uh, you know, bigger dealership and you have a separate address for, uh, for the building where you have service and uh, a service center, right? So now, step six, make sure that you uh, create a post on uh, Google My Business consistently. I recommend at least two to three posts uh, uh, posting within Google My Business. And if you have any special events, you know, if you have new vehicle information or uh, service incentives, or if you offer some coupons, 
maybe you have 50% oil change this month or uh, you're doing like a sale event or it could be you know any uh, special events maybe it's a Christmas sale or a Mother's Day SUV sale if you're doing any specials any um, uh, type of events you want uh, you want to include those and make a post on Google My Business why because it will rank you higher and it will give you more free organic traffic to your website it will get you more leads and overall will help you build your online presence now uh, if you consistently uh, you know start adding uh, photos and videos it will help you also represent your business uh, and give it a perspective for 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 prospects how your business looks you know outside of the dealership uh, what is the area how it looks like so it, they will feel more comfortable you know arriving in the place to your dealership now step step number seven and this is probably the most exciting step because this is will allow you to uh, to add and showcase your inventory on Google so here's a quick um, preview check this out so you can add now uh, types of vehicles you have directly on your Google under products this is makes so uh, so much powerful your marketing and um, it helps you increase your rankings on Google and get more traffic just like I was showing you, you on the second slide how many free views it was 500 uh, uh, views on a specific vehicle just because we added an inventory into Google my business so right now I want to walk you through and show you exactly how you can do it so let me uh, go here on Google and we're gonna be using one of um, one of the examples here of a dealership so first thing first let me actually also walk you through a real quick here on the menu so if you have opened your Google my business listings this is something that you're gonna see you might have your home page or uh, your info tab so this is kind of how it's gonna look like right like I said here make sure you have prim uh, primary category and other additional categories now here are your address and if you have a suite you want to add additional uh, add additional line do not put everything in one line if you have a suite or something like that you want to have um, a separate ad uh, line for that but this is kind of how you can do the ad, uh, the address now make sure that you add all your hours operation properly so it's not gonna piss off your uh, you know potential buyers if they arrive and you close so uh, review that and you can also add hours operation during holiday days for example if you're gonna if you know that you will be closed on uh, New Year's or Christmas or Thanksgiving Day then absolutely you want to click on this button and add uh, you know and new date and I highly recommend you to do it right now so then you won't you don't have to worry about that and it's not it's not gonna be on your mind so plan out the year in advance and input every date here uh, with exact hours how you're gonna operate and then anytime you need you, you can go back here and change it now um, when you add in your phone numbers I recommend you to uh, use your primary phone if uh, as in your phone number that you have on the website you want to have congruency if you have different phone number on your website maybe you're using for call tracking or maybe you have an agency that you know using some call tracking software they want to track the calls so make sure that it's congruent and you have the exact same phone number on your Google my business listings as on the website because if if um, Google will see incongruency then uh, it will not properly show your dealership on Google meaning if someone will search for your name for a dealership it might not properly properly uh, pop up on the search results so this is very important make sure it's uh, the same now this is what I was talking about shortcut if you just click here you can uh, create a shortcut that's uh, that's after that you'll be able to use this link as in um, to share with your um, with your clients so they can leave review or you can put the link directly on uh, on your website 
or when you send in emails and you want to ask for review or on a Facebook page, you can put in an about us section. So uh, that's where you set up the shortcut. Here's the website. Like I said, here you can use appointment links, uh, menu link. This is where you want to use your inventory. Also uh, products, um, this tab, we're gonna talk right now in depth exactly how to stop products. But I, before we dive into that, I want to show you uh, services. So if we click on services, you want to you know add some uh, services that if you do uh, financing, uh, what uh, here we add what type of you know dealership it is. It's buy here, pay here, um, and you can add as much services as you want on this uh, here in this tab. Now. If we're gonna go back um, here we have offerings if we have oil change if we do rentals that's where you can add amenities always make sure to add also description it's gonna help um, rank you higher because you're gonna use related keywords uh, in this in this description and make sure to add photos so this is very very important just like we talked about add as many photos as you can uh, of outside dealership, maybe some customer uh, pictures, testimonials, uh, and uh, and more. So here we have by customer, that's someone who tagged you. Um, if you want to add uh, pictures, how your dealership looks outside, you can click on exterior, you can take a picture of your dealership, interior, take some pictures and add them on your Google. It's very, very important because it will help you get more uh, local exposure. Now, the most important thing that we're gonna talk right now about is products. So like I said, this is a relatively new feature and I wanna show you how to set up the products tab so uh, uh, so your vehicle inventory will be uh, will be shown on, um, on Google. And uh, like I showed you, this is kind of how it's gonna look like. You will have all these vehicles right here. So the first thing first, here's where I already set it up, but I wanna walk you through step-by-step step how you can do it right now with me. So if you open right now a uh, Google My Business, here's exactly how uh, you can set it up. So uh, we have, it says car loan, uh, just for those who are looking at just for finance and they wondering if we have any. So that's where we have uh, set up this as a product. So if we click here, um, here we said just easy financing, low monthly payments, most credit types, okay. And then you want to create a category, so you're gonna name it car loan. And click on the price range, depending uh, for how much you can get approved. I know some dealerships can approve even for a zero down if someone has a great credit. So make sure you, you, know, you, you utilize the way your dealership operates and here in optional you can just put an about us so you can copy from your website from about us section you can uh, use it here and you want to add the button get an offer and then use the link for um, use this link for your financing page right if you have an, a credit application on your website you want to use this link right here now, I want to show you how you can track in Google Analytics uh, how uh, to track which people came from uh, from this offer right from Google, and when someone just was came from other services like maybe you advertise on Car Gurus or maybe your Auto Trade or Facebook ads. So to do that, that's how we're gonna use this UTM tracking that I mentioned in the slides. So this is the link. We're gonna copy this link. And then you want to type in Google, uh, you go to Google and I just might show you. So you go to Google campaign URL builder. This is gonna be the first link. And after you click on the link, it should open something like that. So now right here, what do you want to do? You wanna paste the link website URL, the link you're gonna, you wanna to, to track. So in our case, we want to track how many people clicked to get this offer. Uh, and we, uh, we, uh, we were sending this traffic directly to credit application website. So this is the link we want to track. Here you want to uh, type in campaign source, you just type in Google. 
Now, campaign method is uh, organic, right? So it's not CPC, it's not email, it's organic. Now, campaign name, uh, I like to to name it the campaign we're using, which is organic traffic through Google My Business. So you can type in Google My Business Services or Google My Business Shortcut. And then uh, campaign content. So in this tab, I want to track, I'm going to say products. And then I'm going to say uh, car loan or it could be, you can name it car loan or uh, credit app. Now, once you fill it up everything here, uh, like I showed you, then you can, uh, you see campaign URL builder generates a URL that will allow us to track every single click when someone, uh, clicks on that so we're gonna copy this link and we're gonna go back here and paste this link here we're gonna click save now it's all set now let me show you uh, in perspective how it's, it's gonna look uh, in real life so we're gonna go west out of sales here is a dealership So this is how it looks after you set up properly. You see, we have all the products or the vehicles right here. And we have uh, under explore categories, we have car loan. So now if someone clicks here on car loan, pulls up all the other categories we have. And now if they click on car loan, and if they click on get an offer, it will take them to website, to credit app. And the beauty with this, that everyone who clicks on get an offer, now it has um, it has been tracked, and this information will uh, will uh, be shown within our Google Analytics. So this is the power of URL tracking. Right now, I'm going to be showing you more how we're going to set it up. So the first category you're going to set up again is going to be car loan. And to set it up again, you might not have all of that. So you have add product category. You want to click something else. And here you're going to type in car loan, right? Uh, create new categories. Um, it's going to be, sorry, here will be under product, product category is going to be car loan. And product name, this is our product name, easy financing, could be, you know, low down payments. You can say, no credit, bad credit. So depending on your creativity, you know, you can put anything here. We put easy financing, so I'm just copy that. I wanna show you exactly how it looks like. So easy financing, car loan, and then you can add button, get an offer. So that's how you set up your first category, okay? I'm gonna cancel that because we already have this category. Now how do we set up you know all the other categories we have trucks sedans suvs hatchback so to do that you're gonna go and click something else add new category something else and then you're gonna give this category name let's say we want to set, set up a new category coops right um and then product name in our case will be, let's say I want to set up, um, because we don't have any coops here on the website. Let me show what we have. Oh, we have one coop, but it doesn't have image. Let's say 2010 Dodge Challenger. So we're gonna copy that. We'll go back here and give a product name of that specific vehicle. Now I'm gonna add vehicle. You're gonna click on, uh, Add photo, click on select from your computer. And then I have a screenshot, it's not Dodge, but just to give you an example here, you would just pick the a photo of that vehicle like that. And uh, I leave the price optional. All you want to add is a uh, description. And to get a description, you go back to website. Let's see if they have a description for this vehicle yet yeah this one doesn't 
but you would just take description from your vehicle if you have uh, you know description for that specific vehicle if not you can find on OEM website uh, and find if you, if, you, if you're the owner of franchise you can find it there but most of the companies who uh, you know provide web services for dealerships they you know they have some type of like description for that vehicle so just copy that let's say it was Dodge and you go back you product description you copy and paste it here and then you want to add a button like I said in our case for that vehicle will be learn more I'm gonna click learn more and here's you're gonna use the link which is super important for coupes you don't want to use the direct link to for this vehicle you want to have vehicle for uh, where people can find all the coupes you have available okay from there they can choose which one they like and they can learn more about each one of them so in our case I want to go click on all and find the link for coupes so we have just one and then here on the top we see we have link pre-owned body type coupe I'm gonna take that link and that's the link I'm gonna use to track uh, where the traffic come from so we're gonna go back in our uh, campaign URL builder I'm gonna paste this link right here and uh, we're gonna leave everything the same we have campaign source Google organic Google my business but the only thing you need to change is campaign content so in this case it's gonna be products I'm gonna say coops and I'm gonna copy this URL and go back here and right here a link for your button I'm gonna paste the link for uh, we just created to track how many people are interested in coops how many people clicked on this category and click Save and now we have you see new category coops we just created with a one vehicle um, in this category so we have 2010 Dodge Challenger which is not the picture for that but they didn't have any picture as you see I just used uh, other image so that's how you want to uh, to create a new category and you want to add each vehicle for each category for uh, I suggest maybe if you have you know hundreds of uh, vehicles on your website it's gonna take a lot of time to input each vehicle uh, here what I suggest you to do create at least five to ten in each category you see right here we have SUVs just three because they didn't have at the, uh, at the point more vehicles so we just created three here hatchback we have three so if you can create five if you have more like in this category we have sedans we have one two three four five six so we had six uh, six vehicles for sedan so you want to create for each category uh, at least you know five to ten vehicles so we have trucks we have one with two and uh, use the link you're gonna that will represent that special category for example if you have on a website you know we click all if you have hatchbacks you have trucks sedans you want to have uh, you want to create all of these categories within Google my business just like we did with coop uh, if you want to create a new category click something else new category will be you know truck right or trucks and then here you'll put the truck name <clears throat> from website you uh, take a screenshot of that image or you can click save but here's a tip make sure that the photo is square because that's what Google likes to use you know because if you try to use other different photos it's not gonna uh, be accepted by Google so you want to take a screenshot or crop it somehow but if you have Mac you can just screenshot and make it square right and that's the photo you would use right here add photo and then if you'd like you can add, add a price and description and then button and the same uh, you grab the link for that category and you're gonna send traffic to that specific uh, page on your website so that's how you create 
uh, these listings and after you do that that's how it's gonna look like you have all the products if someone looking for trucks they click on trucks and then you have this let's say two trucks but like I said I recommend to add more and then they have all information about the truck they click on learn more button it brings them to your uh, trucks page uh, to see how, what kind of trucks you have offering and then they can start from there they can fill out the credit app they can click on uh, learn more about the specific vehicle you know <clears throat> uh, uh, they can schedule a test drive so this is how you can set up this pro uh, products if you do if you're gonna set up uh, this way you'll get more leads to your website you get free traffic you can track it within your Google Analytics and there is so much more you can do uh, with uh, with your products so uh, this is the uh, the way you want to optimize your Google my business this will tremendously help you get more leads uh, sell more cars and build a bigger omnipresence online so you can uh, grow your online presence and rank higher dealership on Google uh, versus your competitors and have that edge that a lot of you know dealers dealer, uh, dealership owners who are not utilizing all the power of, uh, of um, Google My Business, they're missing out. They're leaving a ton of money on the table. Just like I see a lot of dealerships, a lot of dealer owners are still, you know, stuck in this uh, like old fashioned way that they need to be uh, on other trade or car gurus. And that's the only one, uh, this is the only way they see uh, to get leads. Right now, in you know, the best way that we found to grow the dealership is utilizing paid advertising, which we see Facebook advertising is just incredibly, uh, you know, predictable way to generate leads who are in market for the vehicle and to grow the dealership. So if you're looking to learn more how you can start advertising uh, on, on Facebook and, you know, get more leads for a dealership, sell more cars, I'm gonna put right now there's gonna be a pop-up um, a video here on my channel you can watch right after this video you can watch exactly how we uh, run Facebook ads to generate uh, leads for dealerships so there's step-by-step -step tutorial how you can do it so make sure to watch after this video but right now uh, let's dive back in our slides so at this point, if you're most, uh, you're most likely one of the following, you're either a dealership owner, you are working at a dealership, maybe you're a salesman, or maybe you're a dealership uh, marketing director or a GM, or you're a social media marketer. So what you should do next? So if you're a dealership owner and you want to learn more, you're someone who likes to, uh, to be educated, you're someone who is hungry for information, how you can grow your dealership, how you can sell more cars, and uh, overall increase your uh, online presence so you can get more free traffic to your website so you can get more leads sell more cars so we are releasing our dealer pro academy program for for uh, the dealers uh, for dealer owners uh, for dealership owners for uh, car dealers or general managers who wants to learn all of the cutting edge strategies how to grow dealerships we're teaching you everything you need to know about facebook advertising google advertising youtube advertising every single um, aspect of digital advertising how you can you know generate leads and not rely on you know some magic uh i know stuff that's gonna happen and people and and customers gonna show up at your dealership we're teaching you predictable ways how you can utilize online advertising to get consistent sales every single month and scale your dealership. We took one dealership from that were selling 40 cars per month to over 120 within 90 days by utilizing the strategies we teach in our program. So if this is this program is not for everyone, it's just for some for the dealer owners or for uh, general managers or someone who works at a franchise who wants to you know get the knowledge who wants to learn how they can uh, get um, more leads, more car sales, and learn every single strategy in terms of Facebook ads that are actually working today and get more leads, get more sales. So uh, this is a better version. We 
Uh, this is pre-launch uh, of the Dealer Pro Academy, and right now you can get on our waiting list. So if you're interested to learn more about that, here's gonna be the link under this video where you can click and uh, just put your email and you're gonna be uh, added to our uh, waiting list where once we release the program, you're gonna be the first who will be notified uh, about the program release and uh, you'll get also 50% off the original price uh, once we you know, release it fully. So everyone who will join our waiting list right now, they'll get 50% off the program and they'll be the first who are notified. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you, you know, click the link under this video and, uh, and sign up for our waiting list. Now, if you are a social media marketer, right, or if you're a car salesman and you want to learn maybe how to help dealerships, maybe you have dealership clients, maybe you just want to learn for yourself how to generate more leads, we have a program for uh, social media marketers and we have two options here. First option is you can watch other videos on my channel. You know, I have a bunch of free content, so you can try to figure out stuff on your own, you know, try to learn all the stuff that works, you know, waste thousands of dollars, maybe you're gonna end up losing client. This is option number one. And option number two, you can actually, you know, save yourself time and get access to my program, uh, which is uh, dealership domination 2.0. Recently, I added a new content in there in terms of inventory ads and what actually works right now in terms of Facebook ads. It's I pretty much uh, upgraded it to uh, to dealership domination 3.0, but I still keep 2.0, but I'm adding right now in the process of adding more content in there. So if you want to learn exactly how to close more dealership clients, how to get high ticket uh, clients, and you want to keep them forever and learn the strategies that we do for our clients, then I recommend you to click on the link somewhere under this video in the description and watch the free training on how to get uh, results in this industry because uh, there I'll explain uh, if we, and show you if you're a good fit for my program or not. So it's a 20 minute video, there's no BS, just straight to the point, watch the training. It's gonna be for those who are actually serious. So you need to decide what person are going to be. 99% of you who you know watch this video feel like you learn a ton of awesome stuff and you're like that's awesome and never take action or you're going to be one percent of people who actually want to take it to the next level and want to get all my stuff uh, all my templates facebook ads strategies uh sales techniques how we onboard clients what we do what actually works today in this industry watch that um uh, free training again it's going to be second link under this video check that out so if this video helped you Subscribe for future videos and turn on the notifications. There's gonna be a bell, click on the bell, subscribe, and make sure to uh, leave a like under this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also check out uh, one of my previous videos, uh, Facebook ads, or uh, I have other content if you want to grow your agency or if you're a car dealer and you want to learn more. And lastly, you can go on my website. I have uh, some information, some blog posts there. Uh, it's right here. It's also gonna be in the link under this video. So this is pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate staying with me, uh, with me here till the end. If you did make it till the end again, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. Um, I'm trying to release uh, this type of videos more often. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video.